to talk about vanaginas and pap smears and the misery that coincides with that. Now, before I start, I, I want to warn everybody on this video, it's going to be a little touchy, as you can well imagine by the title and by what I just said. Um, it's going to be a little personal, but the way I see it, I think it's something that needs to be addressed. And I feel like you need to know that you're not alone. So, I went for a pap smear recently, and I thought I could handle it. It was my first one. I was a little nervous, like anybody else would be. And I was a little uncomfortable with the idea, but I went anyway and thought, well, you know, I can get through this. I had support behind me, and with the right support and assistance, I felt like I could get through it. Well, little did I know. It was not going to be a very pleasant experience. I could not get through it. I could not um, handle it. I mean, they couldn't even get inside me and do the exam. It was really discouraging for me. I walked away just feeling excruciating guilt. I thought, you know, maybe if I had calmed down more, maybe if I was less nervous, maybe if I had just shaken it off. And I was super discouraged. I walked away crying. I felt super guilty. I felt super horrible. Um, I just felt terrible about it, but I couldn't handle it. I mean, when they tried to do it, like I felt this excruciating burning that would constantly get worse and worse and worse. And I would try to just let myself handle it and try to shrug it off, try to move on as any person probably would, or many people probably would, I should say, not everybody, excuse me. But I think that, um, it was just too much. I felt really bad about it. So I don't know how it came up, but I started talking to somebody that I work with and they're like, well, do you think you have vaginas? And have you heard of that? And I said, no, what the heck is that? And so they basically explained to me the symptoms of it and, um, said that it is very painful to do a lot of things. And actually people with this condition have a lot of pain. You can have painful intercourse, painful um, penetration. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can have pain. Painful um, vaginal exams. Uh, anything in that area basically becomes excruciatingly painful. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I do know that it is normal and it happens to some people. And while it's very unfortunate, I just want to reassure you that you're not alone. It's all right. You do not need to feel guilty about it because I have the same issue. I mean, I physically cannot get a pap smear and I'm also not ashamed to tell you that I cannot have intercourse. I would like to one day, but it definitely does not suit me right now. Um, so I just want to encourage you. You're not alone. It's okay if you can't handle the exam. You don't need to feel down. You don't need to feel discouraged. I've even heard that the treatments for this condition can be rather tricky. Um, I once heard about a person that did it and had to walk away from it for a good few months, maybe even a year, and then come back to it. It's very normal to go through an extremely lengthy process with this. And it's miserable. You know, and you, you feel like you can do everything in the world to try to control the pain or control your emotions with it and it's not always the case and it's okay it doesn't make you a bad person it doesn't make you overly sensitive overly childish or anything of the sort it's just an issue and it's not your fault you're not alone and it's okay as I mentioned before there are treatments for it they are challenging and from what I've seen they're expensive I've investigated it myself but I think they're worth it in the end now it may take you several years to deal with them and that's okay that is extremely normal and as I said the person I heard about with it they just 
had to walk away from it for a while and just come back to it. You know, it's nothing to be stressed about, nothing to be discouraged about or concerned with. It's okay if you have to walk away from it. And please know that you're not alone. I know I sound like a broken record when I say that, but I know in my experience, I felt extremely guilty about it. I feel like it's something I can handle. I feel like it's something I can control. And that's not always the case. It is really something that we can't control. Trust me, I've wanted to control it, and unfortunately I can't. And I don't like that I'm so afraid of things like that. I've even had people ask me, why are you so afraid of that? And I'm like, I really don't know. I can tell you where I think a lot of this started. Now, I don't want you to assume, okay, it's a psychological condition. It means it's horrible. It means I can control it. I can shake it off. No, certainly not. Traumatic experiences can cause issues and certain hormones can send messages to the brain to make you think something's in pain when it's actually not. And I think that's part of what happens with phenagemus, honestly. Your brain gets the wrong signals. You think that you're hurting or you think that something's not right. When in actuality, everything may be fine. But you know what? That's okay. It can't be controlled just simply by changing the way you think about it, the way you see it. But I will reassure you of this. There are therapies. There are treatments for it. And you will get your life back. It's very, very, very normal to experience everything you feel about it. And feeling like you can't do it, that's normal too. Because guess what? I've been there. I've had moments where I just thought sex would never be for me. And sometimes I still think that way. I've had moments where I just want to give up on it all forever. And I still think that way some. Now, I don't always. But I still think that way some. So let me tell you my story. At the age of 18... I had a doctor tell me, oh, well, we might as well go ahead and do a pap smear on you. With my PCOS, I had issues that they were concerned about. And I got a lot of infections and I got them super easily. So they were checking that out, as they routinely do for a lot of my appointments. Not all, but some. And she's like, oh, I might as well try to do a pap smear on you. Well, she did, and that was when I first felt the burning. I'll never forget it. I didn't really understand exactly what was happening. But I had one gynecologist tell me, oh, well, you may have a very small cervix or a very underdeveloped one. You know, we may have to try a smaller speculum, which I can tell you from experience, like nothing they've tried has worked. I know that there are tools that they can use to assist somebody with vanagemus, but I've never had any experience with them. And honestly, I don't know that I care to, you know. And I am kind of in that phase. And you will go through a phase where you just want to give up. You don't even want to bother with it. You don't want to mess with it. You don't want to get your exams. You don't want to have sex with your significant other. Or... But it's okay. Those things are normal. And this can be overcome. And it can be overcome. And you're not alone. Everything that you're experiencing is extremely normal. It is very treatable, and there are therapies that can assist in the process. I'm not saying that they're always necessary, but I've heard they can be pretty helpful. I've never tried on myself, and I'm not sure whether I will, but I am considering it down the line. They are rather pricey. I think some I looked at were like $100 or something which I guess that's not that expensive to some people but to me I found it kind of pricey for something like that but I'm just here to say you're not alone it's okay it's not your fault understand that sometimes these things happen now I don't know maybe not all of you will blame yourself or anything like that but I know me personally I felt responsible for the issue and I realize, looking back, that it's not really something I can control. Oftentimes, it will stem from a traumatic experience. But please, do not blame yourself. It's okay. It cannot be helped. The good news is there is assistance out there for it. I will be happy to talk with anybody that 
has concerns about it, don't be afraid to post in the comments. If there's even an issue with something I say, don't be afraid to say anything about it. I will be happy to address the issue. I just want to encourage because I know that there's somebody out there that needs to hear this. I know I did. And when I spoke with someone who has it, I'm not going to say names for confidential purposes, but I can tell you this, they were very encouraging to me and told me a lot of these same things. So just know that there's hope. You can get through it. You can overcome it. And it's okay. I'm not saying it's easy and every situation is completely different. But it is okay. You'll overcome. Anything is possible with God. You can overcome. It's okay. As I said, I'm happy to talk with you about anything I said. I can answer any questions. I'll take any complaints, anything you want to hear. Or anything you want me to hear, I should say. I'm happy to listen to anybody about anything in regards to this because I'm very passionate about helping women in any type of issue. Particularly with benignments, pregnancy, things in that area. But, hey, it's going to be okay.